working with a, a broader range of um, that developing age group, does, does the age make a difference in your um, training programs and how you go about your conditioning and your, and your strength programs? It, it does to an extent. Um, what I deal with is two different types of ages. We have the actual biological age, how old an individual is, and we have a training age, how much experience has the individual had in structured type exercise programs, not just strength training. I've had students come in and be in their senior year and just the maturity level is, is not there. They just don't, you know, embrace it. They'll, you know, see an exercise and they'll, they'll try to, you know, joke around on it. So you're, you're addressing, addressing that. And I've had the incoming freshmen come in and say, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm mature. I understand what this will and will not do for me. So there's always a, a, an educational component to it. Um, as far as how it changes, how I design the workouts, to some degree, yes. Um, I try to make all of our exercise programs as safe on the body as I can. Um, we use any type of tool from barbells and dumbbells to we have a, a great line of machines and, um, and exercise bands. Um, but in all, in all reality, the bigger issue that I have to work with in terms of age is maturity level. Can they handle uh, training? If they can handle training, then I can give them a little bit more um, exercises, a little bit more creative control of their own programs, which is ultimately what I want, for them to have control of their, of their exercise programs, as opposed to me just uh, handing them a sheet and say, follow this. 